It might be chilly this morning and the best of gardening season might still be a couple months away, but it's never a bad time to get things together and learn how to do it right. So we headed up to Madison to garden with Emily. I'm here with Emily Grahoski, and I said it right. How about that? Yeah, said that the last it. name might be tough. So it. Emily is going to be our gardening expert here going on in the future at Live at Nine. And Emily, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, I'm a mom of two boys. I live in Madison, Mississippi, and I'm a full-time kitchen garden consultant. A lot of people don't know what that means. <laughs> um, that means that I do foodscaping. So I come into people's houses. I look at how much food they want to grow and what they want it to look like. And we build custom raised bed vegetable gardens for them. And then we keep coming back and telling people, like, this is how you need to do this to grow food and kind of whatever they want to do. So Yeah, tell me about your business. Yeah, so we service um, the Madison surrounding area. Um, we kind of turnkey installation from start to finish. So we build raised bed gardens. We come back, teach people how to grow in them from season to season. Because most people in Mississippi don't realize that there's a whole world of gardening outside of just like April to August. You know, you plant in April and by jungle July, you're like, oh, I'm done. I can't handle it anymore. But really, um, the fall and the early spring, like right now, um, is a wonderful time to garden. So that's what we're doing today. And, and how'd you get into this? And how long have you been doing this? Uh, my background um, was originally in music. I was a musical <laughs> kid, and then I went to nursing school. Um, but during COVID, when everybody was redefining who they were, I, um, I just decided that gardening was going to be my outlet. I was home with two little boys under the age of two, and um, we couldn't leave the house. And I thought, I need something that's going to keep me out in the sunshine and keep me healthy and something I can look forward to. And so I started nap time gardening, I called it. And when my kids were napping, I was up in this garden trying to learn how to grow food. Well, Emily, why don't we say that we uh, go learn how to plant correctly? Okay. Let's go do it. All right, Emily, let's get started. Show okay. us how we do this. All right, so before you plant anything, you want to make sure that you're planting at the right time, okay? Because most people have really good intentions and they do the right thing, but they don't plant at the right time. So in early spring, which is like February, March, I love to plant sugar snap peas on a trellis. So we're going to do that today. My kids call them garden candy, and that's what they love to come get. And I'm also going to plant cilantro. So most people think to plant cilantro in the summer because they think like salsa, guacamole, all of those things. But actually, cilantro likes to grow in the cool weather. So if you grow it in the summer, it won't work. And then people think, well, what's wrong with me? Why can't I grow cilantro? Well, you just didn't plant it at the right time. So these beds have been prepped, which means I've given them like new soil. And these are sugar snap pea seeds. And I, I don't always do this, but I soaked them last night because <laughs> I was going to be really prepared. And that just helps them germinate quicker. And all I'm going to do is put two of these every six inches or so, and I'm just going to press them about an inch into the soil, okay? And as they grow, they're going to grab onto this trellis, and they're going to go over the top of your head, and they're going to be really pretty and have um, pretty flowers on them and blossoms, and it's just a really nice thing to enjoy. And how many are you putting under each thing? Okay, so I know that because my seed packet told me to plant two seeds every six inches, that's what I'm going to do. So if you can, you know, read a recipe and cook something in your kitchen, you can plant from seed. It's just very simple instructions. And I'm planting two, and I'm pushing them down about an inch and tucking them in. That's what we call it with my kids. We say night-night. <laughs> and I'm going to do that all the way down the trellis. Okay, and I'm probably going to do it on both sides because in the winter, there's really nothing else that vines. In the summer, though, you'll see like cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, um, butternut squash, pole beans, all kinds of things on my trellises in the summer. So that's what we're going to do with that. Then I'll come back in here because I planted my trellis. I might want like a really nice row of cilantro. So I'm going to make a row here. I'm going to look at my seed packet and it says a group of three seeds every six inches at a half inch deep. Okay, so I can do that. And these are the cilantro seeds. It's kind of neat. I just like the way that seeds all look different. You might show you the know? camera that? Yeah. yeah. Look how small those are. Yeah. It's just really neat how different everything looks. So I plant a few every six inches, and I just kind of drop them in, in my little row. Always mark your row, because you're going to think that you'll remember where you planted things, and then you <laughs> won't. And if you're a new gardener, it's hard to guess. 
If you've been doing it for a while, you know what it looks like. And then I just kind of cover it up. And luckily, it's going to rain later today, so I'm just going to let the rain water, water it. But normally, after I would plant from seed, I would come in with my hose and, you know, water it in really well and keep it watered until it comes up. So that's planting from seed. How about that? Yeah. All right, Emily. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay, sounds good.